JD Tools here. I wanted to do kind of a quick video today on the Workmate 300 made by Black & Decker. I really like this thing. It folds up when you're done with it. You can put it out of the way. Uh, if you don't have a table saw, this is a great solution. If you want to rip a board, let's say you're installing a fence and you want to rip a board and you just want to cut it halfway or whatever so it'll fit in a certain area uh, it's great for just little small things like that if you're not doing heavy projects and you just kind of want to cut something every once in a while this is a great little uh, workbench or workmate to have uh, i'm going to go ahead and dive right into it here on some of the things that it has it has these little clamping pegs here uh, these are replaceable uh, on Amazon, you can buy replacements uh, for this. Uh, you have your screw in here. Now I'm going to move this board here. Now you have a uh, all thread right here. Then you have a screw in handle here. And this will bring anything in so you can clamp it and cut it one of the things that i also wanted to mention here is you don't want to clamp it too tight because whenever you run your circular saw on it it will clamp it too tight and put it in a bind so it's important when you do clamp it so just make sure that it's in there kind of decent right there like so when you clamp it just kind of barely clamp it. I made the mistake of clamping this really tight when I first started using it and my saw would get in a bind. Uh, the wood would clamp up and the saw would get in a bind. So some of you may already know this, but uh, if you are considering buying this, uh, definitely don't clamp these too tight and you can make a nice straight cut all the way through. And as you know, or as you saw earlier, there's a gap right down there to where your saw blade uh, can have clearance. Uh, also, if you get really close to the side here, you wanna watch it because your saw blade will get really close to the supports here. So just make sure that it doesn't do that. Other than that, it, uh, I'm fixing to show you how it breaks down here. You got your, your legs here, your legs fold in right here. Uh, everything pretty much goes out of the way and it really doesn't take up much space at all. I'm uh, really happy with this. Sometimes I'll I'll put a, a board on here and I'll put my chop saw on here, which I know I'm probably not supposed to do, and I'll cut stuff. So, but this thing is actually really handy. i uh, really impressed with it. And I will put a link in the description box below. And if you want to order it on Amazon or order any replacement parts if you already have one. They have different models here, but this is the 300. I really like it, uh, super happy with it. Uh, but if you need any replacement parts over there, I'll try to find those too, to where all you gotta do is just click on the link and it'll just take you straight to it. Uh, but other than that, uh, let me show you how it breaks down. So you have these levers right here you got one right here on this side, and then you have another on this side here. And all it does, you want to make sure everything is up. And there's a groove right here where everything slides in. It goes out of the way here. I'll flip it over here. Pop the legs in. And it's ready to go. You can put it out of the way, put it in your garage. Doesn't take as much room up as a table saw. Uh, super handy to have. Thank you for watching. If you do like the video, go ahead and uh, like it, subscribe. Don't like it if you don't like it, that way I know I can improve. And check the description box below. I'll put links in the description box to where you can buy some items to go with this. Maybe even I'll put a saw in there. And thank you for watching.